What about the Lakers? The Dodgers. Putting in work. The Lakers won their first back to back in our backyard. Yeah. The Wood at the Forum. Now at Staples Center. Magic Johnson and A. Kirk Gibson, you know, we had a little bit of debate over him making the most historical play in baseball history and why the hype was surrounded around his game breaking home run to put the Dodgers on the map and winning the home winning the World Series in eighty eight. Well you know what? I mean, I'm gonna look at it like this, you know, that that was one game and I, I mean, let's just be honest. Black people don't play baseball that much anymore. Now you know when we were little, we played baseball a whole lot. Yeah. Right? I used to throw the right. ball against the wall, get my glove skills together. Right. I mean, we we idolized, you know, Reggie Jackson, Ozzie Smith. You know, all, all of those different players, you know. Um, I just feel like, you know what, the, um, my man um, Gibson, yeah, Kirk Gibson. Yeah, he, hey, you know what, it was a nice hit. I felt like um, my boy, what's his name, Joe Carter. You know, Joe Carter. From Toronto. Yeah. They, it just seemed like they hyped up, you know, his, his home run a little bit more. I'm not saying it wasn't dramatic, but I just think he was hyped up a little, little excessively right. in comparison to some of the other players. Uh, that have done some great things in World Series history. But saying that, look at the marketing standpoint. I mean, at that time, you had Los Angeles, which was winning. Right. Then you look at a, a, a country like Toronto, which is not part of the United States. So from a marketing standpoint, that's from Kirk Gibson being that blue-collar baseball player from yeah. Detroit yeah. coming over here doing what he did. You know, my understanding was he had a full hamstring. Right. And he wasn't going to play. And it sort of went to him just to get him in the game, to get right. a hit. And he hit a home run. So. But now let's not let's not confuse the two. Now what do you mean, Joe Carter? We're talking about home runs. We compare them, but not the years. Right. Joe Carter home run was a lead up home run to win the World Series. Exactly. And as my man Cozy's a lead, uh, was, was trying to say that Kurt Gibson's home run did not win the World Series. Right. But as Al said, it was prominent for for the fact that it was Los Angeles getting back into the World Series exactly. since '81. And for the fact that, well, not getting back in the World Series, but winning it since 81. Uh, and it kept them alive. Yeah, it, it kept, it, it, it kept, it kept their playoff hopes alive. It kept alive the playoff hopes alive, and old Kurt was hurt. Yeah. And uh, he hit that home run, and it was really a shock to see him do it. But by no means is it the best home run ever. No, it isn't. Well, but it is part of 88. Well, you know, that was just something I wanted to say. Um, but the main thing I can tell you from the streets' perspective, the Lakers. Come on now, the Lakers. <laughs> yeah. Hey, exactly. you know what? We in your. Hey, it's good. It's good to have. Hey, Dodgers won the championship, but the Lakers. Right. The Lakers run LA. They've ran LA uh, since. I mean, since I've been here, you know. The LA is the Laker town, and Magic, Kareem, you know, even Chuck Nevin, you know what I'm saying? They was putting it down. Chuck Nevin was on that team. Yeah, he was. Mike McGee, you Billy know. Tom. Yeah, I mean, man, you know. So I, I think what made that, what made. You guys, and I say you guys, I'm a, I'm a L.A. man myself, but I'm not a Laker fan, let me be honest. What made it so special, Pat Roddy came out in the 87 year and said that you guys are going to do it again. Right, right, and you went and you did it again. Guaranteed, guaranteed. And what really made it something, and I, and I got to give it up, and I'm going to do this on air. Magic, to me, is the best that ever played the game. Thank you. That Skyhook yeah. in Boston, the baby hook. Yeah. Put them on. That was a cold shot. Put yeah. Them on. yeah. And, and learned it from the cap. I mean, and that was Kobe and Shaq. Y'all should have took notes on this. Yeah. Because two people didn't necessarily see eye to eye. Yeah. Two different generations, but worked together. In fact, like you said, Magic took um, Captain's shot and won that game. In Boston. In Boston. In Boston. In Boston. You know, so it's like, hey, you know what? I, I think that, um, like you said, I, personally, I think that's probably the best um, team that ever to get on the court. You know, bar none. And that's just opinionated. I'm pretty sure some old heads will tell me some no, other no, things. No, 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 you're right, man. And that's the first time a team went back to back since the Celtics. 19 right. years, right. Yeah. 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 Historic, yeah. historically saying that. And also, we're going to look at, um, we can't leave our Florence here for joining. No, not at all. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Beautiful. Yeah. Rest in peace. Yeah. And I had the opportunity, the privilege of meeting her in the elevator so we were at the time I was in the military. And uh, she was a very phenomenal person. But setting the records that she set, and also she went into the fashion industry as far as designing mm -hmm. uniforms for NBA teams. So she was a trendsetter, and she had style, flash, and flair, and another LA product. I have a short story about that because, you know, um, used to work at an elementary school here in LA, and her child, or as a matter of fact, it was her um, niece, right? Used to go to the school, and this was uh, shortly before she passed, actually. And you know, just seeing her, she was a very personable person. 
nobody really bothered her or anything, but you know, if you talk to her about something, she really was, you know, personable and really could talk to you a little bit, right. you know, before she went on her day, man. And like you said, rest in peace, man. It's a great woman, right? Yeah. Flo Jo. What I'd like to add to what Brother Al said, and not only Flo, not only did she win with the physical talent, but the sister did it in style. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, the exactly. nails, yes. man, the, the hair. She was a woman in right. tights. <laughs> I mean, if you didn't like track and field, if you, you like it. women, damn. Yeah. Like, we like women. Yeah, like track and field. You like track and field. <laughs> 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 Can I say something? Yeah. She put the LA thickness on the map. Yeah. Basically. And that's how we was rolling oh, before it was shown. And now, when you way. say LA, she's from LA. Jordan Down Watch. Word. Watch. Whoa. Whoa. Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it, what? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah.